Hello, and welcome back to another video. Um, we're going to be continuing in this town area that we've been working on. Um, I've been making a little bit of plans for what we're actually going to do in this video, but I kind of wanted to bring it back to this truck over here because there's been lots of comments about it, um, which have been very helpful because I didn't really know what to do. And there were lots of people saying that they liked how the glass panes looked when it was like this. And, and let's get rid of these because they're kind of in the way. Um, but I have another solution and you all can let me know what you think about this solution. It is not taking off the doors. That was an accident. The idea is we use these full blocks like we were previously in one of the tests. But then we have the glass panes on the side like um side you know rear view mirrors side mirrors um because obviously something like that would exist on a real truck um and this is probably the closest you can get to in minecraft and we could still make that a glass pane but i feel like that gives a pretty good feel for what it should feel like i feel like it looks more truck-esque maybe we put the those two on the top back that could work. I feel like I liked it without these. I, I I think that's probably the best. And you guys can all let me know what you think. If you think we didn't need these glass blocks here, if it the just the panes, or if you want me to put these two slabs back on the top, if you thought that looked better. Um, you know, I'm I'm trying things here. It's my first time making like a vehicle, so still trying to figure things out. But for the, the main part of this video here, I was thinking about adding a little section to the left of the townhouse that we made last episode. So I'd put the townhouse here because the power lines were going over this way. And obviously you can't build a townhouse where there's power lines. It's like, okay, to build to the right of it. And then I wanted to build this road continuing a bit further. So we have like a road down there and down there. Um, but then you come into the problem of then you have just this little sliver because you can't build anything any building like right there because it'd be too close so you have like really thin things so you can't really do that so i was like what if we made this a little park over here where people could relax a little bit nature -y, a nice big tree um but i'm not the best at trees now i have been trying out some things i got that tree over there which i like a lot but one thing i've, I've been thinking about it and it's just too like blobby a bit like I did a lot of things I like but there's also still things I don't quite like right now so I wanted to try to like improve my you know building and to do that I was like well I have to just go look at real trees and while I have seen plenty of trees in my time outside um, I grabbed some pictures online and then realized oh I should just find a specific type of tree that I'm interested in. So I found these cork oak trees, which is actually what they make corks out of, like for wine bottles. Um, and it's very interesting because they like shave the bark off the, the tree and then make the corks out of that bark. And then like the bark grows back. So you don't have to cut down the whole tree. They just like shave it and then it comes back later. And that's like kind of cool. Um, and it was very interesting because the inside of these cork oak trees, when you see like pictures online of when they've shaved off all the bark, some of them looked kind of orange, like the acacia is in Minecraft, which I almost, I kind of thought this was like very unrealistic for a tree to look like this, but it, it did look like that. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Um, not all of them look like that. There were some that looked more, I don't know, normal wood colored, but yeah, I don't know. It's just very interesting tree look. So it's got this gray kind of outside. It's pretty much just like an acacia tree. It's like that style of look, but just in a, I don't know, this like this sort of scraggly, I don't know, just normal looking tree, but just to, I don't know, it's kind of weird. You'll, you'll be seeing pictures on screen, hopefully, if I've done my job correctly. Okay, so I've got a bit of a start here to the tree. Um, we, I've just been just kind of trying to get some nice shapes in here. I had this low hanging one because I was thinking for this little park area, it'd be really cool to have like a little swing that like hung from the tree. So we would need one that's kind of straight across to hang from. So I was thinking about like hanging it right here. So I have that. Um, I didn't want to put anything too close to the power lines because like if they did get close, people would be trimming them, right? 
So it can't go quite that high there, but then there's some higher ones kind of going out more this way. And then there's some that'll be kind of reaching over the road a little bit. And I think it's going to look really pretty. And I, I don't know, you could keep on like going further and further into details with like how the branches look. Cause obviously I like branches in real life, they go from big branch to tiny branch to even tinier branch to even tinier branch. But like, you can't do that in Minecraft. That's just too many details for a blocky game. So I think this is good enough. Well, we'll see kind of how it is. Um, I'm still kind of experimenting, but um, here, here's the leaves that I was thinking about using. After looking at some of the pictures, I thought um, these birch leaves look really good for like when it's in shadow. And then when there's some more like tops of the leaves, when it's got a little bit more highlight, we can use the acacia and Maybe that wasn't the best place to put it to see it, but the acacia is like slightly brighter. So the birch will be the darker bottom, acacia will be this like brighter top, and they've both got like the same sort of texture. So it doesn't look all that weird when you use them in unison. It literally just looks like part of the leaves are bright, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and so I'm still trying to improve. We'll see how this goes. I'm just going to keep on experimenting with things and then. I will show you guys when I am completed. So I've been working quite a bit and I've got the leaves done. It is all beautiful and it took me a while to get the exact shape that I wanted. I tried a couple different things and I feel like this is this is pretty perfect for what I wanted. I, I think this kind of looks like the best view from over here when you're like walking across the bridge, which is kind of the most important view because this is the like direction that I'll be seeing it a lot from. So it makes sense that this should be the best one. Um, if we go over this way, we've even got a pretty good view from this sort of side. It's not quite as pretty, but I, I think it looks pretty good. And then if we go over this way, if you were like coming down this road, I mean, obviously you're like gonna go underneath it so you can't see it that well, but I love how it like droops down a little bit and it's just all the way high up there and it's just, I don't know, it feels great when you're walking under it. Um, and then if we look at it a little bit further back, it's, I don't know, that one might be a little bit too high. Maybe people can, you know, let me know, but I'm not changing it. Even if people think it's too high, it's too much work for me to change. Um, <laughs> Cause I don't know how I'd move all those blocks down and not like mess it all up it worse. So I feel like it looks pretty good. And like trees aren't perfect anyways. They're gonna have like weird ones that kind of stick up higher and, and it's, it's, it's awesome. So now that we've got all the leaves in and also for those who are wondering, I did do the, you know, lighter leaves on top with darker leaves at the bottom. So when you're like looking away, I don't even know if people could have noticed it if I didn't point it out, but it's just got a nice like sunshine effect over the top. It, it's pretty cool. Anyways, I, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to decorate this little area here to make it actually look like a proper park. So one thing I want to do is I want to make this into like a little swing. That's kind of what I was feeling. And I don't know if that's too wide. Like if we, if we zoom away, right? That might be. So how about this? Is that better for, I think that does kind of look better. Um, and then I think I can still get out in it because uh, these chains are really thin. Yeah, look at that. Go on a little swing, which is awesome. And then kind of the next big part is actually making some paths in here. You know, they'd be like little paths set out. It's not like it's a big park, but they'd have something. So I think like over here, this is gonna be kind of hard because there's nothing underneath, but we kind of continue this way. We go around this light post. And then I kind of imagine that this road will continue down this way. There'll be more buildings kind of under the power line. So it'll have to be a little bit shorter. Um, and then there might be like an alleyway that sort of goes this over here. So I think we want to kind of have the path go over to this alleyway like that. And then when you're over on this side of the road, I feel like we should also have an entrance. So maybe have something that kind of goes like that. Maybe curves a bit that way as well. You don't want to get too close to the the swing, obviously. 
But I think that kind of gives a good path. And then let me just fill this in real quick. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good now, now that we've got all the filled in paths. Um, I tried to make them not too wide, but they ended up being maybe a little bit wider than they should be. But I don't know, it feels pretty good. Um, and then now we gotta add some like decoration, some vegetation, some life to the place. So I also wanted to decorate a bit out front here. So I was thinking, not digging up the whole underside of this place, but we had like a little, little thing out front. We had some little bushes. I don't know if people have seen this before, but it's where you put the little azalea bush with the moss block on top, and it looks like it's like a bigger hedge. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and then some flowers. It's kind of what I was feeling. Um, just give it a bit of decoration. And then we also need something like over here. So we've got some leaves here that I've kind of got an idea for. So I think we're just going to kind of go crazy on the leaves. Just make it look like they're kind of going all over the place. Um, we'll maybe even extend it out. We add some of these birch in there too to give it a bit of variety. Maybe something like that. Um, okay. And then we get this glow lichen in here. We kind of go just crazy yet again. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good for those bushes and kind of making it look wild and all overgrown, which is exactly the feel that I wanted. Um, let's get a bit of grass. That kind of looks like it's been growing way too much and they maybe haven't cut it as often as they need to. And then we get a little bit around this tree. Maybe not quite over there. Well, that could be fine. I actually had such a good idea just now. What if instead of that, we made it like little rocks kind of around it? Mm, maybe that's not the, not the block to use, but I kind of like the idea of something around the bottom. Maybe slabs of spruce. Yeah, that kind of looks good. It makes it look a little bit more official than just, I don't know, whatever it was before. And then we can still get a little bit of grass, sort of in the corners where maybe the lawnmower couldn't quite get. Now, as the last sort of step here, I was thinking... A little bit of a sign. I think that's a good spot to have it. Um, we do something like this. I was thinking tough makes it look a little cool. I don't know. And this is kind of like a nice block to put it on. What we're actually going to call this park is Scent Subbury Park. Now, the reason why I want to call it this is because when I released my last video, right as I was right around when I was releasing it, um, I actually hit a hundred subs, which is amazing. I never even thought that I would get that many. And by the looks of it, this video, this one that I'm making right now might come out when I have 250 subs. Cause I'm like practically there, which is kind of crazy, but I felt like a hundred subs was like a good milestone to capture somewhere in our low world as a sort of memento to be like, thank you. So the scent part is like the hundred because you've got like, you know, centimeters, which is like a hundred thingamabobs. Um, and then you got like century, which is again, a hundred of something. And so scent sub subscriber and then uri because it sounded weird if you just said scent sub. It sounded like it needed more to the words. So we made it like century, but just with sub in the middle of it. Because um, why not? And this park will be here in our world for the, the whole time. And it'll just be a little memento to when I hit 100 subs. So I think that's kind of special. And hopefully as we expand this area, it'll be so much more a central piece of, I don't know, the our whole little town. And also, I should even add a little bit of, a little bit of grass around. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. I sure have enjoyed making this little area super pretty. I will see you all next time.